before us then. So, how would I fix Tom Holland's Spider-Man? Well, first off, you can get rid of Tom Holland because he does not fit Spider-Man. I don't hate the guy, but he does not fit Spider-Man. He's more of a frog man than a Spider-Man. His acting is like a walking block when he plays Spider-Man. I suggest to get a, a better white kid or get Miles Morales, the black kid, to do it instead. Like, how many Peter Parker... Peter Parkers are we going to have in these movies? How many are we going to have of Peter Parker? Especially they're back in high school again for a third time. What's with movies in high school? I, I don't understand the logic with movies in high school. Why couldn't it just be in college? I remember that MTV Spider-Man show was in college. Remember that cartoon MTV? Nah, you got too young. You probably want to know. Yeah, there was a cartoon on MTV, and Spider-Man was actually in college, and that's rare because most things that come out, cartoon shows and uh, movies, of uh, Spider-Man stuff, most of, most of the time, like like ninety percent of the time, he's in high school. Change it up. Instead of high school, put him in college, or no school at all. He just. Working at Daily Bugle, that's his regular job, and his second job could be a pizza boy, like Spider-Man 2. But, no, let's just do it all over again, and just let's get a different white kid that can't act, and put him in high school again. With this big fat kid that named Ned, who's fat and juggly. Jiggly, I meant. And he annoys the crap out of Peter every second of the day and also you have potato actor Zendaya who shows the same face in every movie oh it gets worse all these characters they, oh this this movie needs a big old spring big old spring cleaning this whole movie needs big old spring cleaning first off Ned get rid of Ned because when you make a character don't make him really annoying it's fine that he's fat, but don't make him really annoying. Get rid of Ned. Get rid of Zendaya. Zendaya does not fit as MJ. You can find another black chick that can be MJ. You can't be her. Oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. Like Michelle Obama. Ugh. Look, Zendaya is attractive, but she cannot act. Every time I watch her, it's like, that's all she does? That's it? She just says her lines, that's it. She has no, nothing like expressive or like interesting because like her acting is like a tired sloth and sloth is always tired already I don't know what it is I don't get what it's oh. yeah get find a better black chick that Laura uh, Harrier in this movie she could have been uh, MJ but no they went with Zendaya for some reason I, 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 I don't get it. It's because uh, Disney owns Marvel, and Zendaya was in a Disney show called uh, Shake It Up, and that other show uh, was an undercover, some kind of spy show she was in afterwards. She was like, you know, she's a star of Disney. Why just get her in a, a Disney Marvel movie? And she plays Spider Man's girlfriend. No. No. Just why? Why, why would you do that? The girl can't act. Like I said, she's she's attractive. She seems like a, a nice chick, but I don't see her as in as Spider Man's girlfriend. Find another a black girl that actually looks, you know, I mean, more stunning looking and more, you know, has better acting. A lot of people, a lot of people like Zendaya. I just I don't I don't see why. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get what's so what's so amazing about her. She just says a few words and it's like she's amazing or something. She's not. She's not like those people from the the fifties through seventies. Those those actors from then, those actresses back then. She's not like those classic people. No way. Or even eighties and nineties. She's not like those classic actresses and singers back those days. She's no as near to those type of people. Anyways, because let's continue. Yeah, we're, of course we're talking about homecoming and f fart from home. We're talking about both of them. First, we're talking about homecoming first. 
Homecoming is like, especially when you got like an Aunt May to play Peter's aunt. You gotta be kidding me. She looks too good looking. She looks too, is she supposed to be like old and wrinkly? Here you go, Sonny. Here you your hard candy. Is she supposed to look like that, not like some sexy lady? Who, that was from uh, my cousin Vinny. Well, she was pretty hot in that movie. I, I'll admit to that. But you know, people still think she's hot now. I'm like, I mean, she's still not, not that bad looking. You know, she's so cute. But she's so old. She's an old lady. Seriously. But do you know what's worse? Iron Man's in here. And Iron Man gave him a suit. He made a suit for Spidey. Look what we got there. Iron Boy Jr. It's not even a Spider-Man movie. Because every time I watch Homecoming, I get furious every time I see Iron Man show up out of nowhere to help out. This is Spider-Man's movie. This is not Iron Man 4. What the heck are you doing here? Get out of this movie. I'll get so mad every time I see him in here. I'm like, I, I, these. What's wrong with the director? Is he high? Is he. Does he have anything in his head to understand that it's supposed to be a Spider Man movie, a standalone Spider Man movie with other crossover characters? I mean, besides him, Captain America shows up on the TV talking to kids in school. I'm like, uh, how many Avengers characters are going to be in here talking? Oh my god. I understand he was in Captain America Civil War, but. This is Spider-Man standalone movie. You can't have characters from different films and different stuff come into here. You treat him like a baby. Which he is a baby in this movie. It's like... Spider-Man in this movie is spoiled. He's spoiled in this movie. The other Spider-Mans... Tom... Not Tom Holland. I'm just, I'm just talking about him now. Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. They work hard to work on those suits. They work hard to work on technology to shoot webs and stuff like that. This guy, he gets Iron Man to make it for him. That's what a spoiled baby would do. And I don't like characters that are spoiled babies. I mean, I know, I know this Iron Man and uh, and Batman. Batman was a spoiled baby. He he was born and raised by a rich family. But this this guy. Spider-Man was never like this in the comic books. I'm not counting the new ones, no. The old ones, he, he made his own stuff. This is ridiculous. And most of the time in, in Homecoming, you know what else is bad about Homecoming? He's like Mr. Magoo. He 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 gets caught in a a net underwater or something. He can't get out of it. He almost drowned. And Iron Man had to save him. How pathetic is that? Spider-Man don't do stuff like that. He doesn't, he doesn't almost drown. That's pathetic. You see Tony McGuire ever drown in the water? Or Andrew Garfield? No, they're not they're not pushovers or uh, oh, I don't like using the word that much. Pussies. They're not they're not like that. So this guy another thing is, he almost killed hundreds of people on a boat when he was fighting Shocker. He he couldn't even take care of saving the people on the boat. He almost killed everybody. Spider-Man don't do that either. Spider-Man doesn't... Tony McGuire saved a bunch of people off the train. And I forgot what Andrew Garfield did. He he saved people. Let's just say that. He saved people. But... This guy? Tom Holland's Spider-Man's a failure. Spider-Man is supposed to be a hero. He's not supposed to fail. I mean, yeah, sometimes, sometimes he should fail. But not all the time. He doesn't need, uh his daddy to come here to help him out his uh, Iron Man it's like why? like take Iron Man out of here, take Captain America take all the Avengers characters out of this movie let Spider-Man be Spider-Man that's another thing, just take those characters out that's another thing I would do take those characters out, make Spider-Man actually act like a a Spider-Man, not a Spider-Boy and I, and I get rid of the uh, Iron Man suit crap, the Iron Man stuff that, that Iron Man gave to him, and make it. He then he make his own suit. He makes his own gear. Because Peter Parker is supposed to be a genius, not a spoiled baby, like this character is. I'm not hating on Tom Holland. I'm hating on his character, which I'm still not a fan of his acting, though. Anyways, that's that's one of the major issues in this movie. Also, seeing John Favreau's big self in here too, I'm like, John Favreau, get out of this movie. You're not, you're you work for Iron Man. Why are you doing here? Oh my God, that's like that's he isn't that's another guy. I get rid of him too. He's not 
All these carriers makes no sense. They should not be in, in Homecoming. And uh, Vulture, played by Michael Keaton. Look, I'm a big fan of Michael Keaton. He's a really funny guy. He, was, he played Batman, etc., etc., etc. But Vulture, him playing... I mean, he did a pretty good job playing Vulture, but I, I, don't, I never like Vulture as a villain. Maybe if I find like a better villain, like... Maybe Rhino would have been good in this movie. Maybe Rhino versus Spidey in Homecoming would have been better. That would have been better than Vulture. Shocker, I love Shocker in this movie. Uh, Bo Key Woodbine, he did pretty good. I, I, I think I would keep him, you know. He, he's a pretty good character. An actor, you know. He would have been better in Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I talked about already. He, he would have been better with Electro and Shocker. If they team up, that would have been a good chemistry fight together. They they team up together, that would be really good chemistry. But no, they went with... With, uh, what was it? Electro and Green Goblin, played by Dane DeHaan. That, that was terrible. Bad chemistry idea. Look, I'm fine you team up villains together, but you gotta have good chemistry with it with the two characters. You don't have good chemistry, it's not gonna work. That's the problem. <sighs> Alright, another major problem. Flash Thompson. He's a scrawny nerd. Played by, by the short Indian kid. The, all, all he does is talk garbage. He just talks crap to Spider-Man. The Spider-Man don't even do anything. He doesn't beat him up or anything. He just let him talk crap to him. Tobey Maguire, he just probably just flick his nose and he'll just f run off crying. And Flash Thompson just run off crying. He just flick his nose one time. That's it. He starts crying. He's so pathetic. Flash Thompson sucks. <laughs> He's... I don't understand why. Why do you? I don't understand what's their play of this idea. I don't get what's their they're playing with this. A scrawny Disney kid. I'm fine if he's, if he's Indian, but how how about he be like a six foot four buff Indian kid? Why is he so small? Well, I can understand because this generation is really soft. I can see like there's like a lot of kids like that these days in high school. So I don't see no tough kids anymore like that. And like in uh, Spider-Man, Tommy, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, they actually had real Flash Thompson characters, and they they they, they actually look buff. They look buff. They look intimidating. They look alpha. This guy, and Homecoming, and Far From Home. No, some freaking uh, Indian kid from uh from the, the Indian from India or something. Get out of here with that. Like. Tom Holland should give his kid a wedgie or something. He he would he'll he'll f off or he would be his friend because that's what happens after you beat up a bully. He comes friends of you. <laughs> I'm not kidding around. That's true. Be be up a bully. He comes like a buddy to you. It's like so corny. Like oh my god. He's he's one of the, another major issue in this movie. Oh, it's like it's yes, this movie has so many issues. It's, Especially Tom Holland, Spider Man, such a goofball. I can't, I can't respect his character. I can't respect him. I can't respect his character. He's, he's such a a, a goof, a, a flipperoo, a, a kangaroo. I never see someone so dumb in this movie. Oh, I think it gets worse with, with Fart for From Home because it's, even that's stupid. Because he, he, his identity. Everyone knows his identity in that movie. I'm like, are you kidding me? Everyone knows his identity now. This, oh, this is a really major issue here. Spider-Man does not ever in his entire life ever give out his own secret identity. Spider-Man will never do something like that. You see Tommy McGuire or Andrew Garfield give his whole identity out to the whole world to know he's Spider-Man? No! This is another failure thing by this Spider-Man right here. That's another failure thing. You should never do that. What is with these writers? What is with the director? Does he understand what Spider-Man's about? You never get out a secret identity. No character in comic book history never does stuff like that. Maybe in a parallel universe, but... What are they thinking? Ugh. I think I'm getting a headache just talking about this. I mean, I, I, mean, I need a beer. Oh, this is so painful talking about this movie. Well, both of them. Uh, I mean, I like uh, what's his name? Jake Gyllenhaal as a uh, Mysterio. I, I really like Mysterio as a villain, but 
they should do some way better with Mysterio. Mysterio in the comics and the video game, he's like way more awesome than this. Especially the PS1 Spider-Man, he was awesome. This, they don't know what they're doing with Mysterio. They don't know how to write Mysterio. Mysterio is like way more, way more awesome character, way more cooler. Because you know how these writers are. Watch the, you know, some dorks think they know everything about like, comic books, but they don't. They don't even read comic books. They don't know nothing about Spider-Man. They don't know nothing about making things cool and awesome. <sighs> it's the reason they got uh, Nick Fury in here, here with Kobe Smothers. Smolders, or whatever you pronounce her last name. And now, I don't know why. I like, I like Samuel L. Jackson, but why does he have to be here? Why is why Spider-Man wear some some uh, Iron Boy outfits again and all that? This is ridiculous. I'm tired of all that. You know, I don't think I'm done talking about this. It's just giving me a headache talking about this crap. These characters and show you be in a movie. All these characters just they don't know how to write a Spider-Man film. Especially the third one that's coming out. I'm doing all these because the third one's coming out. And that that one makes no sense either. They're pulling a multiverse like they did that that cartoon crap. Spider Spider Verse into the Spider whatever call it whatever. And I didn't really like that movie. I thought it was okay. It's just that it was really just too much stuff going on in that movie. It was like uh, I'm tired. I'm not a fan of multiverse stuff. I'm just not a fan of that. It's just they bring all these actors back. You know, all this stuff just for this multiverse horror crap. Uh, that that basically tells you that they're running off ideas, and that's a that's sad. Why is it so hard to come up with a, a good movie plot, a good movie story? What's a hard to write jokes? What's a hard to come up with something awesome, something that's you know badass? Well, they don't do anything badass. Most of the time, movies these days come out as bad or ass. But not the two combined. Ugh. Man, I'm just, I'm tired of talking about this. I, I, I don't, I can't. This movie's bad. Both of them, they're really bad. But people, these kids didn't grow up with what we grew up with. Tony McGuire and Andrew Garfield. Let me... When I grew up with Andrew Garfield, I didn't really, I didn't really like that guy because he replaced Tony McGuire, so I didn't really mess with him. Now I'm like, he, the first movie grew up, grew up on me, the uh, Amazing Spider-Man one, that grew on me. I was like, you know, this guy's not that bad. I actually like this guy. What? Tony McGuire, like, it's. Uh, if you're not gonna write a good Spider-Man movie, what's the point even trying? Just stop what you're doing. And just give it to some other guy. You know what you're doing. And this is by the same guy who did Freaks and Geeks. Same guy who wrote... Oh, no, not... Starred in there. I think it was uh, Francis Daly or something. I forgot what his name was. Something Francis Daly. He was from, you know, movies like Waiting. And that was like a really funny movie. How he acts like in the end of the film. He doesn't know how to write Spider-Man. He doesn't know how to write Spider-Man. He doesn't know how, how, you, how to do it. Unless the director changed it around or something. Uh, you know how these directors be like. They change things around make it more corny. He was writing with this other guy too, or something. It, it, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to write, write Spider-Man films. Oh, it's John Francis Daly. That was John Francis Daly. Yeah, he doesn't know how to write Spider-Man. Spider-Man is not. All right, everyone has their own writing uh, styles and stuff, but he don't know how to write Spider-Man to me. He, the guy can act, but he can't write. Ugh. Spider-Man. How about Spooderman instead? I might watch Spooderman. I watch Spider-Man, especially especially Tom Holland Spider-Man. Ugh. It's like after watching the movies, like you have like a bad hangover or something, for like yelling and screaming at the screen for like an hour of how annoying the, the scenes of the film are. Most time, I'm like face palming. I'm like, oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my brain. Like, every time, every time I watch the movie on TV, all I don't do is just shout at it and get mad. Like, I can't, I can't mess with Tom Holland movie. It just gives me really angry. The only ones I can watch is just it. It's Tommy McGuire or Andrew Garfield. That's it. I, I cannot watch to Tom Holland. It just, it just hurts my brain just looking at it. Like, the bad writing, the bad casting, and the, the, the bad story. It's just, I can't look at this. Oh my god, it's like, it's hot, it's awful. 
Just look at this poster. Just look at it. Look at the poster. Now, do you think this is a really good Spider-Man poster? Just look at this. It's a mess. It's a f disgusting mess. This is not art. This is not Mona Lisa type of thing. This is disgusting. Look, why is Iron Man on the poster? This is a Spider-Man movie. He's not supposed to be there. Look at him. He's just, he's, it's just his flames or something. He's just staring at something. What's he staring at? Boobs? What's he looking at? Is it cocaine or something? Who is he looking at? I guess Aunt Maid's boobs? I don't know. Where is he looking at? Tell me. What is he looking at? And look at this. Look at this. Look at uh, Frogger right there. Uh, Tom on. Look at him. Look at Frogger. Look at me just staring. Staring into the skies or something. Uh, how, should I even be in this movie? You know, that's another thing about Sp uh, Tom Holland. He's, he, 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 it looks like he doesn't want to be in the movie. Every time I watch this guy uh, be Spider-Man, he look, look, he doesn't want to be Spider-Man or something. He's like he doesn't care about playing Spider-Man. He's like, eh, I'm just going to pay a lot of money, so I'm just going to be Spider-Man. I don't really care. You're supposed to, be, you're supposed to enjoy it, Tom. You're supposed to enjoy playing Spider-Man. Look! Look over here! Look! Look at Michael Keaton! Michael Michael Keaton, just staring, just staring at something. And right there, you got Shocker. You can't even see him. He's so small and tiny. And you got guys, Aunt May. You got Fat Boy uh, John Favreau. And you got Zendaya's potato acting right there. He looks looking at something. I don't know what she's looking at. And you got Iron Man flying. Iron Man. Why is Iron Man there? Why is Robert Downey Jr. there? I, this is a mess. The vulture just comes out of the flames or something. Who did this? Who did this art? Oh, tell me. Did, who did this art? I want to know who did this. This is. I want to tell them their face how bad this is. It's like some uh, preschool freaking poster or something. Some preschool poster. Well, you, you know what's better? Oh, yeah, look at Spider Man. I forgot about Spider Man. Look at that. Look at Spider Man. Just have his arm out. Maybe it should have been just about Spider Man on the wall. On the poster, I maybe mean, it's just a Spider-Man. Not all this utter cluster crap on here. And they got the Avengers Tower back there. Yeah, I see the Avengers Tower back there. That's another thing about that. Everything want to be about the Avengers on there. And another thing about Spider-Man, they need to take out of there. They keep talking about they want to fight Iron Man more than Spider-Man in this movie. That's right. They keep mentioning they want to be up with Iron Man more than Spider-Man. That's stupid. It's like Mag not Magneto. Uh. What's his name? Mysterio said the same thing. He was like, I want to destroy Iron Man. And he was like, Tell me, why did he talk about destroying Iron Man? Is this a Spider-Man movie? These villains will be against Spider-Man, not Iron Man. Are you kidding me? I don't get I don't get it. I don't get what, 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 is, what is wrong with these writers. Is that all they think about is Avengers in their head? This is about the Spider-Man movie, not about the Avengers. What's going on? As you can see, they're basically copying this poster. That's right, they're copying the Phantom Menace poster. It's the same thing, they're copying the Phantom Menace poster. We know Qui-Gon's right there. That, that, that should have been like Robert Downey Jr. right there. That kid Anakin is definitely uh, Tom Holland. <laughs> they're copying the Phantom Menace poster. That's basically what they're copying. They're copying the Phantom Menace poster. Remember all that, all that stuff on the poster and stuff? Same thing, they're copying the Phantom Menace poster. To be honest, I love the Phantom Menace, and I hate Homecoming. It's a difference. And people that hate Phantom Menace, what is wrong with you? Why do you hate Phantom Menace so much? It's a really good movie. Once again, <clears throat> another bad one. Look, look again, same like the first one, Homecoming. Look, got all these people on here that are n not necessary to have them on here. Especially Zendaya and John Favreau. Why are they there? Look down the bottom, look at a San Francisco uh, bridge blowing up or something. That's so what is all this crap on here? Well, what's with the triangle in the, in the back? What's with the big triangles? What's with all of that? Why do you keep having the people stare at things? Like, like, like Nick Ferry, what's he staring at? What's he about to point his gun at somebody? Oh, that's gonna, uh, Put a clock in somebody's head. Well, what's going on there? Well, what's 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 Mysterio doing? What the heck is he doing? Jake Gyllenhaal. Where's your brother Tobey Maguire at? Yeah, that's right. You haven't seen the movie Brothers. I don't think you understand the whole reference. And that was really funny at the end. How you found Tobey Maguire flips out. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be serious, but it's just really funny. 
but this is bad just like the first one the, uh, the homecoming they both look bad why do you have unnecessary people on down the bottom well why are they even there <sighs> it's like it's just so bad like the the poster is so bad they don't even have to make a poster anymore. They don't even have to make it, make it interesting. I got people just staring at everything all the time. Looking around. Oh my god. L let me show you something, alright? Let me show you something that actually, actually looks awesome. This is a Spider-Man poster. This is what he posts to do. Not supposed to have this, all this crazy stuff in the background. All these people up there. This is how you make a Spider-Man poster. Okay, so why do I have all this crap around everywhere, making it look so lame and silly? All of these these non not necessary characters on the wall, I mean on the poster. This this is how you supposed to have it. Oh my god, it's like I know they said you want to change the things around at times, but make it look interesting. Does that make it look like some kid did for you, some eight year old?